Hi everyone, this is T.I. and welcome back to my channel. Today's topic is knowing God's will and focusing on it. Knowing God's will and focusing on it. Jesus Christ said in the book of John in chapter 4 and verse 34 that my food is to do the will of him who sent me and to finish his work. My meat or my food is to do the will of him who sent me and to finish his work. He knew what his will, what the will of the Father for his life was. He knew exactly why he was here on planet Earth. He knew why he had to take the form of man. And he focused on the will of the Father. He did not dilly-dally, he did not, you know, chase after shadows, he did not do the things that he was not meant to do. He was focused on it. He did not allow distractions from any quarters, not even from his parents or his earthly parents. He was focused on doing the will of the Father because he knew that that was why he was on earth. What is God's will for your life? Do you even know it? Or are you just trying this and trying that? Or are you just looking at what the other person is doing and doing it because that other person is doing it and you feel you can also do it? Or are you actually pursuing the will of the Father? For every individual that is here on the planet Earth, God has a will for your life. He has a purpose for which you were, you were, you were created for. His plans for your life is completely different because you are uniquely created. You, you, you don't follow after someone else's plans or purpose. You have a purpose, you have a plan, and it is according to the will of God for your life. And you need to know it. And until you know the will of God for your life, you cannot actually focus on it. So how do you know the will of God for your life? Search the scriptures, go, you know, why? What am I here for? You know, there was this book that I saw ages ago. It just ask that question, what on earth am I here for? You need to ask that question. You need to ask the Lord, what am I here for? What work do you have for me? What is my assignment? We can't all be painters. We can't all be, 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 writers we can't all be singers we can't all be teachers we can't all be doctors otherwise who will do the other things you know that needs to be done and that's why even in the place of assignment god called pastors he called prophets evangelists you know we all have different assignments so you need to find yourself in the will of god you need to find your god's purpose for your life Stop going about beating around the bush and, you know, robbing Peter to pay Paul and then getting frustrated because you haven't really heard from God. You really have no clue what he wants you to do. You need to know his will. Take time to seek his face. Take time to pray. You might need to fast. Study the scripture. What are your talents? What are those things that God has placed within you? You will find this purpose for your life. You will find this will within these things. When you pray, when you ask him, when you seek his face, you will see him. He says you should draw to him and he will draw to you. You don't stay afar and try to do things by yourself. Because there are some people that believe that it's my life, I can do it do with it whatever it is that I want uh, that I want with it but you were created by God you are a creation of God and when someone creates something it is for a purpose it's not just for the sake of creating have you seen a, a, an inventor invent something just because it feels like inventing it's because there's a purpose for that invention the person that created the camera had a purpose for a camera. He thought the camera would do X, Y, Z. And then the day you see a camera becoming a dishwasher, then there's a problem. The day you see a dishwasher beginning to, 
you know, take people and driving them to their places of work, then there's a situation. There is a serious problem. So you need to find your purpose because when you find it, then you are able to focus on it. When you focus on what you were created to do, a camera, you know, will do exactly what it was meant to do. Is when it begins to, you know, to, to, to take pictures and he realizes that oh, I think I should be able to do more. Then the inventor will say, okay, let's add some more, you know, some more models to this camera so that the camera can begin to take video, videos. Let's begin to, let's add. Then it is when you begin to work in your purpose that God will realize that, yes, I'm able to impart more in your life. I'm able to give more to this person because this person is actually working in its purpose. But you are a camera. You haven't even taken a picture once. How can you record a video? It's not possible. You are a dishwasher and you are just sitting there. No one has stamped any plate in you. No one has used you. You are just decorating the house. You haven't fulfilled your purpose. You are not focusing on what you are meant to do. You are going about minding other people's business and thinking, okay, Okay, I'm a dishwasher and then why why is why are they always using this thing to wash the place? They're using liquid soap to wash this one. Is that your business? You are a dishwasher. Wait, let them start plating you. Don't bother about someone that is decided that wants to, you know, wash their plates in any other way. Look for what God has called you to do and focus on it. Now is the time for you to do that. Because the Bible says that the night comes when no man can walk. It is day now. The daytime is when you can actually fulfill purpose, where you can walk in the will of the Father, you know, for your life, where you can focus on it and achieve. Let us, you know, stop all this, you know, um, um, how do I call it now? Just follow, follow, just following other people to do, to, to fulfill their own purpose as it were. Of course, there are some times that you need to help people to do certain things, but it shouldn't be you copying other people because that may not be God's will for your life. Ask the Lord. He is ever present. He is always ready to tell you. That's what the manual is for. The manufacturer's manual. That's what the Bible is for. Search the scriptures. That's your manufacturer manual. Search it so that it will tell you what am I on, uh, what am I here for? What on earth am I here for? What is my purpose? Lord, what is your will for my life? I want to be able to focus on it, but I need to know your will. It is never too late. It is never too late for you to enter into your purpose. You may have missed it so many times, but God is a God of restoration. He will take you back and he will instruct you as long as you're ready to listen. As long as you're ready to do his will so I've been talking to people that are actually seeking God's will seeking the purpose of God for their lives if you don't even know him I mean that's not even the place to start you have no relationship with him so I mean <laughs> knowing his will will be the least you know of what you want to do so the first step is for you to come to him. The first step is for you to seek him in order to have a relationship with him. Then you will seek him to know his will for your life so that you can focus on it and live a life of purpose. So if you are that man or you are that woman, that boy or girl that wants to have a relationship with our Lord Jesus Christ. You want him to be your Lord and your Savior. You want him to order your life by his spirit. You want to live a life of purpose. If you're that man, that woman, just say this prayer with me. Because the Bible says that with the heart man believes, but with the mouth confession is made unto salvation. Say, Lord Jesus, I come to you today I acknowledge the fact that you are the Son of God. I acknowledge the fact that you came to die for my sin. And on the third day, God raised you up for my justification. I invite you into my heart today, Lord Jesus. 
to be my Lord and my Savior. Thank you for saving me. In Jesus' name, I pray. Amen. Thanks for watching. I hope you were blessed by this video. Do like, share, and comment down below. And do subscribe for more updates. Till I come again next time, this is T.I. Remain blessed. Shalom. Thank you.